So number 10, it says the base of a triangle is one half its height. All right? So guys, if we have a triangle, we're talking about a triangle, let's draw a picture of a triangle and write in the formula. Can, does that at least seem like the most basic of, of effort I can make without actually doing any thinking? Does that make sense? Would that be okay? Because I know you guys get to these problems and it's like too much, right? But if you see they're talking about a triangle, can we at least write down a picture of a triangle and the formula? Would that be okay? Let's at least get started with that. And that's what I would expect at least everybody to be able to do is just draw that out and say, all right, area of a triangle equals one half base times height. Now, I know I'm gonna have to think through this problem, and we know that here's my height, and here's my base. Now, the base, so they say that the base is equal to one half the height. So is it okay if I rewrite base as one half h? Would that be okay? Yes. Yes. If um, the r of the triangle, <coughs> if the area of the triangle is 190 um, square millimeters, find its base and its height. So what I'm going to do is, since I know that the base is equal to one half the height, I'm going to try to see if I can figure out what the height is. So to do that, I can rewrite. Can I, it wouldn't be okay if I rewrote the base as one half h because it's one half. The base is equal to one half the height. And I'm going to write in 196 square millimeters for the area, one half times one half h times h. You guys see what I did? I rewrote the exact same equation, but now I substituted in 196 in for a and one half h in for b. All right. So now we can multiply this. So I have 196 equals one fourth h squared. Now to undo this, I'll multiply by four over one. equals one half the base times the height. Well, now I know the height is 28. So do now we have enough information that we can plug all this in and solve for b? Yes, because it said find the height and find the base. So now I can multiply one half times 28, and that's 14. 196 equals um, 14 times b. Divide by 14, divide by 14, b equals 14. 